Thank you. Yeah, I like, it. there's something about the gay accent that just like tickles me. It's just really funny to me, especially coming out of a man's mouth. Cause I'm like, you sound like a woman, but you look like a man. So it's just real, it's a mind, it's a mind trip. It's a mind what? A mind trip. A mind fuck? No, I wasn't gonna say that. That's a bad word. You look funny with those elephant ears on. You do too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what are you doing? You're funny. You're funny. What are you doing tonight? Huh? What are you doing tonight? What's your plans? Um, not much. Just gearing up for Thanksgiving. We got a whole lot of shopping to do tomorrow, so um, I'm just gearing up for that. Yeah, you gonna you gonna eat a lot during Thanksgiving? Of course, that's what Thanksgiving is for. But you know, when you don't want to get all those extra calories, you just go into the bathroom and um, think about something putrid and nasty and poop. You just get on the, you get out of that turtle and you start to perk it up because you know I like to eat till I perk and then I just eat again. <laughs> what uh what are your plans for Christmas then? Um uh, um Christmas I don't know actually we haven't thought that far but usually me and mom and daddy sit around the Christmas tree and give out our thanks to Jesus and give out presents and stuff but daddy's dead now so this is my first Christmas without daddy. Damn, how'd, uh, where, where's your dad at? Did he pass? He did, yeah. What happened, if you don't mind me asking? Um, it's a long story. I don't want to talk about it right now. Actually, I get real sad when I talk about it. I got you. No, you're good. I yeah, I don't really want to talk about it. But what about you? Where's your daddy at? My daddy's over there, right in the room across. Can I talk to him? I don't, <laughs> I don't know about that. Why not? Do you want to? I do. What are you going to say to him? I just want to wish him a happy Thanksgiving and uh, don't say um, nothing wrong. I won't. Okay. I'll, I'll of course say. I wouldn't. I always respect my elders. I would never say nothing crazy to them. Just say hi to my dad. Hold on. <laughs> give me, give me a second. Yeah. Let's have a conversation to him with him. Dad, this person wants to say hi to you. Yeah. Someone on TikTok. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? You're looking mighty fine tonight. You're laid up in the bed waiting for me or what? What? You're laid up in that couch waiting for me or what? Oh, my God. Who is that? I, no would, so ye, I would put my list on your list and rub your bald head till it's shiny. <laughs> You're funny. I like you. I like Who you. Who said who's that? Was that your dad or was that your brother? That was my dad. He want to kiss on me. He want to know more about me. Give him my I number. He, I don't know if you want some of that. That might be too much to handle. I don't think so. It might be. It might be. I don't think so. Give him my number. I want to talk to him. Yeah, what's your number? Say it right now. Um, It's 862. Yeah, you stuttered. I don't believe. Uh, it's because I was about to say something crazy. <laughs> 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 I was so about to say something crazy. Yeah. Um, You're funny. Yeah. Huh? You're, what do you what do you do on TikTok? Um, not much. Just talk to people about Jesus and shoot the shit. Talk to me. Crack about open a cold one and shit like that. It's kind of low. Let me see. Is shit all the way up? It's not all the way up. Talk to me about Jesus. I don't want to talk to you about Jesus, honestly. Why? Because I can tell that you're a man of God and you got God on your shoulders and you got God in your brain. So I, you don't you don't need you don't need to know my about Jesus. This uh. You know what this says right here? It says uh, child of God in Japanese. You know, what it says is you need to work out more on your obliques because you got a little love set. You got a little love handles right there. And you got a little pudge in the front too. So you might want to go and work out. You know what I'm saying? Because ain't no man working around here with no pudge. I think you might need to work out too. Huh? I think you might need to work out too. Work out what? Just work out. Work outside, um, doing the Lord's work, or what? Like walking from door to door. Talking about to, talking about Jesus. Yeah, like door to door. Yeah, knock on doors. You know what I'm saying? You never did that before. You're a Mormon. I'm not. I'm not a Mormon. No. Oh, you got siblings? I do have siblings. Where are they? Uh, Michigan and college. You're the only one who lives in the house. Yeah. Oh, okay. Where's your mama? Uh, my parents just divorced. There, she's about forty-five minutes down the street. Why did they divorce? Uh, I'm not talking about that. No, 
why is they divorced? I, I would love to talk about it because, you know, my parents are about to divorce too, but mama says that that's not very Christian like as God said, if you uh, put a holy union in front of him and, and say that you're going to stay forever, that's what you have to do. So death do you part. Yeah, my, mom, my mom was, uh, a lot of arguing happened with that. So my dad left and then my mom cheated on my dad. Or your dad. Which one? My mom. Oh, okay. So your mom's an alcoholic, your dad's a fat slob sitting on the couch all night eating potato chips. And you sit up and, huh? Are you, what about your daddy, huh? What was he? I got dang it, I told you that already. Did he die of a heart attack because he ate too much chips or no, what? No, he didn't. He died of an uh, insides rupture. It was, he did an internal bleed. Did he eat too Thank much? You. Huh? Did he eat too much or what? Yeah, too much cock. <laughs> <laughs> That's something you and him have in common. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're funny, you're funny. You're funny looking. Yeah, so are you. Where's your mom at? Guzzling down a bottle of MD 2020? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sucking dick in the coffin or what? Oh. <laughs> it's going good. How are you? Okay, same here. Just got off of work, tired as hell. My feet are tired, even though I've been rolling around all day. I need somebody to come over here and put some lard on my toes and rub one out on me. You can help me out. Bitch, I said me, not you. What you pulling up your foot for? I was just asking. I didn't know if you were gonna go with it too. Well, I, I didn't. I didn't know. Massage for massage. I said you come massage my feet. I mean, we could help each other out with it. No, we can't. They're gonna rub my feet, and that's it. I'm gonna leave. All right, all right. Sorry. Now, what you got? Um, some Christmas stuff going on around there. Y'all don't decorate for. I'm Christmas. trying. We're still decorating. We're still decorating around here, don't but uh. For Thanksgiving. You gotta get. You gotta get to be ahead of the game. You know. You gotta. All right. Well, what are you thankful for? What am I thankful for? Yeah. What are A you roof thinking? over my head. For a who fuck with your head? <laughs> a roof over my head, like a roof you know. Over your head. Oh, you were homeless in the past. Um, hopping from shelter to shelter with your alcoholic abusive mother. Daddy ran out of you when you were three years old, so you're hopping from shelter you know my to shelter with your little sister and your mama. Mama selling pussy on the street. You mad at her because y'all ain't never had no good relationship. You had to take care of your sister like she's your daughter. And now you're staying with your friend at your friend's house because your mom had lost custody of you and your baby sister. Your sister's in the system. You're trying to get your sister, but you ain't even 19 yet. So you got to figure out how the hell you're going to get your sister out of the system. But you're trying to get yourself set up first to make sure your sister has a happy life. Uh, that's a lot of process. That's what I'm saying. So I'm just about to deal with this because that's uh oh. Because that's all I have to live. Where's where's your daddy? He's dead. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. It's fine he died last um, year. I'm over it. What'd you do to get over it? What was what? How did you overcome that? What did you time, do? Time heals all, you know. I'm sure your wounds that your mom left on you from those cigarettes will heal too. So I think she'll be perfectly fine. I don't think that she should dwell. Yeah, on a couple it. burns like here. Yeah, I don't think you should dwell on what happened in the past. You should move forward and think right about right what she's in store for you. Gotcha. Yeah. No, that's, that's a good way to think about it. It's a good way to that's think about how, it. That's how I got over it. Yeah. So, what are you hoping for for Christmas? Your sister to come home? <laughs> oh, <I'm just> <laughs> 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 um, free little Erica. Free her. She ain't did nothing. She ain't did nothing. But exist. Hello. Huh? What's going on? Nothing much. What's going on with you? You at work? Yeah, I'm working. Nice. Uh, what do you do for work? Construction work? Yeah. I got that little vest on. Yeah, you already know. 
Do you like doing that? Yeah, I love it. Okay, how long you been doing that? Twenty years. Okay, you got a wife and kid then? No, 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 not twenty years. I mean, thirteen years. So you're lying to me. Yeah, I like the first what time. Doing, what were you doing before that pimping hose? Maybe. Oh, okay. How many hoes you had on the street at once? Uh, at once? We yeah. have. No, I never had so many. Oh, okay. Like the no, I'm still looking for the right one. Oh, okay. So you're not married right now? Nope. Oh, okay. No kids? No kids. Oh, okay. And how old are you? About 32? 31. I'm so good at that. That's crazy. Um, And you ain't got no kids? Why you got no kids? Or a wife? I ain't got no what? Kids or a wife. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know. Work too much. Well, don't you think that that's what a woman would want? A man that's working? Because that's what I want. What's your name? My name's Terry. I'm from Louisiana. Where are you from? What part of Louisiana? Uh, Bone Town. It's like northern. Just, uh, just south of Shreveport. That's not too far away. You live in Louisiana too? No, I live in Texas. You're about a five hour drive. I'm I'm like three hours away. A month? I should be there like in a couple hours. Well, why are you saying you're coming here? You're gonna come and meet me? What? You're trying to come and meet me? Yeah. Oh, why? What, what are we gonna do? Nothing. Go to the Waffle House? Huh. You know, I'm kind of scared of the Waffle House. I've seen the videos on the internet of all those color people running around there fighting each other, throwing chairs and stuff, eating each other's bacon and stuff. I don't think I can, I don't think I'll survive there. What, you want to go IHOP or what? Uh, maybe Denny's. I feel like Denny's is much more my vibe because it's um, older, white people, so I will fit in more. Do you have any kids? I don't actually. You don't? This woman is ready to birth a couple kids, but I ain't had none yet. Are you looking for boys, girls? What you looking for? You mean my kids? Don't matter. All kids are blessings, honestly. What do you got, twins? That's fun. What do you want to name them? Even though twins are actually abominations, and God said that if you shall have twins, that means that God placed one in your uterus and the devil placed the other. So when you have both of those twins, you got to differentiate which one is of God and which one is of the devil, and you got to do what you have to do with the one that is of the devil. I personally don't have twins that run in my family because I ain't got no demonic spirits in my life. So. Therefore, we won't be having any key, no twins or nothing like that. But if in the event that we did, you need to be um, ready, mentally ready, for one of those twins to. Are you ready? I've, I've been ready. I mm -hmm. always slays the devil. He ain't got no place in my house. All right. The devil ain't got no place in my house. This is a house of Jesus. I don't know why, I know, I know. Yeah. I'm going to be going up there soon. Up where? Up there. To Jesus? Up, up to Louisiana. I was about to say, how you about to, you, you, why are you about to die? You got, you got to close to Denny's nearby? Uh, Denny's, yeah, we got a Denny's like two hours up the street. No, oh, that's two hours. I need one nearby. Well, we ain't got many places here in Bon Ton. The only restaurant we have here is Merlot's, and it's uh, it closes at 11 p.m. Is that your mom's? What? At your, what'd you say, the closest Merlot. one is what? Merlot's. You speak Spanish? I do. She got all the smoke. Thank you, Isaiah. We get it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Everybody, let's go. Thank you, Cherokee. You ain't Thank got you, me, ho. You ain't got shit. Let's go. What she you got, got a That's what you got. Well, what you say? Nothing. I said, when are you going to come over? What you say? Repeat said, what you just said. When are you coming over? That's what I said. Pretty soon. Thank you, Karen. 
Tiger Karen, oh, Chanuki, oh, yeah. Adrian, Carlitos. You're about five nine, yes or no? Damn, you got lucky. <laughs> Why the what was your name you said? Terry. Terry? Well, you have a good one, Terry. You too. El Phantom. Simple. Because you're a simpleton. You're simple up here. You're just plain and simple. Can't even answer a damn fucking question. Now what the fuck you worry about the battle for, but you're gonna lose the battle either way. Just like you lost that battle in court with them kids, trying to act like you don't have kids no more, but you still have kids, you're just not taking care of them because your ex-wife got them. About to piss me off. You ain't coming to my house. You coming to my house? I got a bullet for your ass.